Uh, now we discuss the divergent theorem. This is a generalization of the Gleam uh, theorem and uh, is very useful uh, in analysis and also in uh, differential equations. Uh, the theorem is stated here. Let omega uh, be a bounded closed domain in Rn. Closed and domain. Domain is a, a domain is a pathwise connected open set. Uh, the closure of a domain is a closed domain. Okay. Now uh, the boundary is piecewise smooth. Boundary. Uh, and uh, F is a vector field uh, over omega. That is a vector valued function from omega to Rn, which is C1. Continuously differentiable. Then we have the integral of the divergence of F. Uh, this is a multiple integral, n-dimensional multiple integral, or unfolded integral, okay? Uh, because it is taken over the domain. And uh, this equals the integral over the boundary of f uh, of omega. The integral is the inner product of f and the uh, uh, unit normal uh, outward normal vector. Ah. So, this is omega, and uh, this is the unit outward, uh, out, uh, unit normal vector. So this says that uh, the divergence, the integral of the divergence over the domain equals the integral of the uh, vector field in the product with the outward normal vector and then uh, taking surface integral over the boundary. Uh, as we mentioned before, the integral on the right-hand side, integral on the right-hand side is called the flux integral. So uh, uh, the, the right-hand side can be interpreted as the flow, total flow uh, go out through the domain. Okay, uh, so uh, this says that the, the the volume integral of the divergence equals the the flux uh, over the uh, boundary of the domain. Okay, so this is very useful and very important. Uh, we will prove this uh, later. But uh, I remind you that the right hand side, when n is greater than three. The right hand side is a uh, therefore omega is a uh, domain in uh, higher dimensional space, and uh, the boundary is a higher dimensional surface. Uh, so the statement of the divergence theorem involves the uh, integrals over higher dimensional surface. Uh, this is a new concept. We will discuss this later. Uh, okay. Now uh, we consider several uh, particular cases. If n is 3, for n equal to 3, the vector field has two, three components, say P, Q, and R. Then this uh, divergence, oh, sorry, I forgot to mention the divergence. Divergence of a vector field. Uh, divergence. Divergence, suppose F, the component of F is F1, Fn, because F is a vector valued function into Rn, therefore F has n components, say F1, Fn. Then the divergence of F is the 
sum of every fi parcel delivery uh, is the sum of all the fi. For fi, you're taking the parcel derivative which xi, then summing up i from 1 to n. That is, um, that is f1 dx1 plus plus fn dxn. So this is the definition of a divergence. Okay, uh, this appears in the statement of the uh, divergence theorem. Now, uh, let's go back to the three-dimensional case. Uh, that is, uh, f is pqr, the components of f is pqr, then divergence of, of f, divergence of, of f is p partial derivative with respect to x plus q with respect to y plus r with respect to z, then taking integral over omega. Maybe we can abbreviate this by dv. Okay, volume integral. Ah, this equals the surface integral over the boundary of omega. The, for the surface integral, uh, we know that f nu d sigma for, for any surface s, this is the uh, f uh, in, in, in three-dimensional space, three-dimensional space, uh, this is uh, three-dimensional space. The, the surface is two-dimensional. For lower dimensional, we use a uh, multiple integral sign to denote the corresponding integral. Then this is um, p dy dz plus q dz dx plus r dx dy. Therefore, the divergence theorem is just Okay, so this is the three-dimensional divergence theorem, uh, usually called the Gauss formula. Okay, Gauss formula. Uh, the, the node here is remarkable. In the uh, divergence theorem, the node is the outward unit normal vector uh, at every point. The node at any point on the boundary of omega is the unit outward normal vector. Therefore, this new, you can use the cosine alpha 1, cosine alpha 2, cosine alpha until cosine alpha n to denote this unit uh, vector. Here, alpha 1, alpha 2, alpha n is the angle between mu and the uh, coordinate axis. Okay, so um, so you can see that uh, in three-dimensional case, uh, this is just uh, p dy dz plus q dz dx plus r dx dy. So uh, the Gauss formula that is an equal to it is the three-dimensional case of the divergence theory. How about the Green formula? Uh, Green formula. If n equal to two, for n equal to two, we take f to be Q minus P. Because why why we do this? Because the Golin Golin formula says that Q X minus P Y D X D Y equal the integral over the boundary of um, P D X plus Q D Y. Ah, uh, I will tell you why this is a special case of the uh, divergent theorem. So we take capital F, the vector field, to be Q minus P. And uh, this is omega. And uh, at, at a point in the, on the boundary of omega, at a point on the boundary of omega, this is the tangent vector tau. The normal, you need to normal tangent vector tau. The unit, uh, sorry, the unit, uh, unit tangent vector 
of the boundary curve is tau, then the unit normal is nu. So what's the relation between this? Uh, we see that nu is the uh, uh, rotating tau uh, clockwise uh, which angle pi over 2, 90 degree. Therefore, we can using the uh, complex uh, expression, nu is nu1, nu2. You can identify this with a complex number. nu1 plus i nu2. Then this should be tau e uh, minus i pi over 2. Okay? Uh, because you rotate uh, clockwise, therefore the angle is minus pi over two. Okay, so this is this is uh, tau is tau one plus i tau two. The exponential of minus pi i over two is minus i. Okay, this is minus i because this is cosine pi over 2 plus i sine pi over 2 minus okay so this is minus i because cosine pi over 2 is 0 sine minus pi over 2 is minus 1 therefore this is minus i so the result is the result is tau 2 minus i tau 1 okay and uh, go back to the coordinate that is tau 2 minus tau 1. So this is the uh, components of the unit normal vector nu. Therefore, by, by divergence theorem, uh, this integral qx minus py, this is precisely the divergence of f. Then by divergence theorem, this is the integral over the boundary f in the product which nu then the uh, in this case is ds uh, this case is ds then this is uh, q f the components of f is q minus p well the nu is tau 2 minus tau 1 so this is p tau 1 plus q tau 2. OK, but uh, this is just p dx plus q dy. Because tau 1 ds is, tau 1 is cosine alpha ds. Tau 2 is sine alpha. So this is dx. Ah, and similarly, tau 2, tau 2 ds is dy. So the, the final result is uh, just as uh, the Green theorem uh, says. Okay, so we see that the divergence theorem uh, contains the Green formula, that is the two-dimensional case, and also the Gauss formula, that is three-dimensional case. Uh, uh, but uh, for higher dimension, this is still true, okay? So green formula is very uh, important.